two words, life-changing. Okay, today is my first day on Adderall and wow, is this how everybody feels? <laughs> Where you can just like sit down and focus on something because this is nuts. So I got Adderall prescribed to me about two weeks ago and since then it's been a super eye-opening experience. So far I've seen a ton of positives in the way that it affects my behavior but I've also seen a few negatives that I wanna cover on here. But luckily for you, I recorded the first five days I was on it so you can see the process of how I became addicted to it, turned into a zombie, became completely numbed out, and left my family and everything that I love. But before I get into talking about my first week on Adderall, I have to preface it by saying I got Adderall because I have ADHD and I've been diagnosed with ADHD. Um, so that is all in the context of this being completely for those medical purposes. There's a ton of negative effects it can have on people that don't have ADHD that try Adderall, so that's it. So don't even, so don't think about it. It's, it's, it's something that you most likely shouldn't try. But anyways, enough about that stuff. Let's get right into it. Day one. <clears throat> okay. So today is my first day on Adderall. I just officially got prescribed it yesterday. Uh, so today is my first day with it. And I took it at 10 o'clock right now. It's 11, 12. Um, so it's been about an hour and I feel a little <laughs> different. Um, I think I'm noticing it. I feel a little bit more disciplined, maybe a little bit more focused. My heart's racing a little bit faster than usual, but I think I do feel just a little bit more like zoned in already. So it's funny, already an hour into it, I can already start to feel a little bit of the effects of it. Um, so it's going good so far. And then? Okay, today is my first day on Adderall and wow, is this how everybody feels? Is this what, is this what humans feel like? Where you can just like sit down and focus on something? Cause this is nuts. I'm a focusing machine, but I'll keep you posted. So I made that video when I was on the way for meeting someone for lunch. And up until that point, I think I had taken it at about 9, 9.30. Before that point, I think like I mentioned, I was really zeroed in on what I was doing. I think I was editing at the time. And that whole morning, I was just able to concentrate and edit all the way up until lunch. And so I think I went to lunch about 12-ish. Um, and that's when I started feeling a little weird. So in case you're curious, we went to Zupa's and that's not even the weirdest part. But anyways, I was there getting lunch with this person and I was having an exciting conversation. I was really intrigued in everything that we were talking about and I could just feel my whole body just being really tingly. And this is what I am. Feeling just like I had just downed two energy drinks or something like that. You know that feeling that you get when your hands are a little bit tingly and you feel like you just have to do something? Anyways, it felt exactly like that. At lunch, I was pretty talkative, which I normally am pretty talkative because I'm an extrovert. This time I was very talkative and very just excited and super into what we were talking about and I just felt like I had to keep going and spitting things off. And so I made a video the next morning that I think pretty accurately describes what happened after lunch. By the end of it, I ended up crashing and I actually started feeling really anxious and pretty overwhelmed. And that lasted for like a couple hours actually. And so it was like, yeah, so it was a really uh, interesting first day. I'm not sure if that's common. I obviously talk about this in the clip that I just showed, um, but it honestly really scared me. And so it scared me A, that I was worried that maybe I don't actually have ADHD, kind of that imposter syndrome kicking in, that maybe because this was my experience this first day, that maybe I don't actually have ADHD and maybe Adderall is like terrible for me and if I keep taking it, it's gonna be like this every single day where I just have this crazy amount of energy that I feel like I can't control and then where it ends off with me just feeling super anxious the rest of the day. And I thought it would feel better because the Jazz won that night and it was a super close game but even, I even still felt really just anxious throughout the whole time. And it took a lot of my wife, Mia, just kind of calming me down and helping me get perspective on things. And I think there's a couple of reasons for why I reacted to it like that the first day. For one thing, I think my body just wasn't used to having something in it like that. That's what she said. <laughs> and the other thing is I also wasn't working that day. I worked in the morning, but after lunch throughout that whole time, I was in a really big engaging conversation. And so I think, I think it just built up more and more of this energy to where it just really heightened it instead of me just being by myself in my office working on something. Hopefully today is a little bit more of an improvement, but we'll see. <laughs> and an improvement it was. Okay, so end of day two on Adderall. Today was much better than yesterday. I feel like I'm still in work mode. Like I've, I've literally been sitting down at this desk. Like I don't think I've gotten up since 10 o'clock um, and it's now about five o'clock. So it's been, it's been a, like a really great work day, which maybe this, like, that's like normal for someone else. But for me, that's like a miracle. I didn't feel anything super extreme. I was just super focused on what I was doing the whole time. And so it, yeah, I think it ended up working out. But day two, definitely a lot better than the first day. 
But yeah, that day just completely blew my mind because I was able to write, film, edit about half of that video, and then also start a website and finish a website from scratch um, for my videography. And so all of that usually would probably take me about a week or so to do. I don't know what normal people's workflow is like, but for me, that's insane. Like I have never done anything like that. Sitting down from nine to five without getting up and just purely working on something where I realized all these possibilities are now open, which was just so crazy to me. Cause even when I worked at Nomadic as a video editor there, where my boss literally sat like three feet away from me. In a situation like that, I should be super focused and being able to just work right there because kind of someone's looking over my shoulder, making sure I'm staying on task. And is also giving me the assignments that I need to do to accomplish that day. But for me, being by myself in my office, being disciplined enough to do all those things back to back without a break and just doing it because I want to do it was just like mind blowing for me. I couldn't believe it. That night I was able to go hang out with my friends and I felt completely myself. And so I was able to be scatterbrained random and it was awesome. Okay, I just wanted to update how my experience with Adderall has been. This is officially day three on Adderall. I took, medic I took my medication at about 9.30 today after I ate breakfast. I've again been able to really focus today. Again, so much so it's it's 11:40 right now. Um, I've, been, I've been just cranking on this video I've been working on. I love that I'm able to just sit down, have something that I have on my list, and just get it done. It's honestly incredible. So, so not a ton of crazy things to update for day three. I felt a lot more normalized, if that's the right word for it, or I didn't feel this crazy amount of energy. I just kind of I think I still felt a little bit of a peak there but mostly just pretty normal, but still able to just sit down, concentrate, get everything done that I needed to. But after Monday, I had two crazy days of filming. When I move, I become fluid and light. So I was doing a small film project with a friend of mine, and because we were moving so many different places and that we were tra traveling to so many different places to get shots, I really didn't feel like I needed Adderall that day because so much of it was hands-on. Also, it's like pouring outside. Look at this. Okay, so today is officially day four on Adderall. I haven't been feeling too crazy, too jittery. It's honestly just felt like my normal self, except for I'm just a lot more um, focused and uh, I think motivated to do things. Um, but this is a good example of something that I've needed to adjust to, because one of the side effects of Adderall is your appetite is kind of shortened a little bit. So Mia's been really good at getting me to eat lunch with her and take a break from working, which honestly has been kind of hard to step away because I always feel like I'm in the zone when I'm working right now. Um, so it's been good to like take a step away and to just um, breathe and eat and have a normal second. So that's been good. Day four, not a lot to dissect there. As you can see, I'm still a little bit in work mode, just still so focused. I think it's just one of the things that Adderall Whenever I do start working, it's hard for me to step away from it. I've been trying to take time to stop during the day and, and eat lunch, because that's actually one of the side effects of Adderall is it might lower your appetite. So me and my wife has been really good at kind of pulling me aside and forcing me to just take a break, just breathe and chill, which is so funny because I literally before would have looked for opportunities to do that all the time. Any moment I could get to just like stand up, walk around, go chill and hang out with me or, or do anything like that was great. I do that all the time. And now it's weird because it's, yeah, I find myself finding literally the opposite problem where it's so hard for me to walk away from my work. So whether that's a good or a bad thing, I, mean, I guess it's kind of up to you. But for me, I'm just happy that I can focus during the day. So day four was that Thursday and then day Friday, um, there was just a big family emergency that came up. So we had to leave and me and Mia had to go help out and that really didn't slow down until the next Monday, which was the Monday of this week. So day five didn't happen until Tuesday of this week. And day five is the last day that I journaled just because a five day work week was the thing that I wanted to kind of test out. Even though it wasn't consecutive, it was still my first five days or first week on Adderall. Um, but since then, the more I've taken, taken it, um, it just kind of feels like I am normal until I start working. And then I think when I start working, I feel a little bit more energy or maybe it's just like the excitement of, of what I'm doing, but I just am able to just narrow down and focus. Yeah, so everything I've said previous, like day three and four also kind of apply to day five as well. Um, and also to, I think what are, I don't know what I'm on, like day seven or eight on it, um, which is now my experience when I'm taking it is, is I actually just don't even really notice I'm taking it to be honest. 
where uh, I usually now take it at about nine in the morning. It wears off about 3.30, four-ish. Um, I wish it would last a little bit longer, but when I take it, I almost even forget I take it sometimes, where I just feel normal. I don't feel like my heart rate is going up. I don't feel like, I don't feel like anything is that much different until I go and start working at my desk. So once I sit down and I start working, I just become laser focused on what I'm doing. And sometimes I have, a, like sometimes I take it, and I'm like, oh man, I don't feel like that much motivated to do what I'm doing. But as soon as I get in my office, you have to like pull me away from my desk because I just get so into what I'm doing. It's been awesome. And as far as the side effects goes, I, I have felt anxiety here and there after it wears off, nothing close to what it was that first day. Um, and I don't know if the anxiety has been because of things that were going on with my family or other things that were external things that were happening at the same time, or if it was a little bit because of Adderall. And I also don't feel like it's frequent. Like I don't feel like, I don't feel like it happens every single time I take it. And so that was the main side effect that I think I was worried about. And so those are the main things that I've come from having my first week on Adderall. And I also know that that's a really short time span in comparison to people that have been on medication for years. And also, I wanna be respectful of people's negative experiences that do choose to have medication and then maybe it doesn't work out for them. So again, it's only been a week. I'm planning on doing an update on this once it's hit about a month of just giving you an updated experience of what it's been like for me to be on Adderall for a month. And hopefully then I'll have a little bit more experiences to share with you and a little bit more insight into it as well. But yeah, I hope this answers some questions. And also I'm super eager to hear from you guys too. If you do have ADHD and if you've had a different experience on medication, I'd also love for you to share that in the comments. Um, or if you have any questions about medication or Adderall specifically, uh, make sure you ask them and I'd love to get back to you on that. But thanks a ton. Thanks you guys for watching this. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.